This is Coogan Cassius, we're at Simsy's gym here in Haynot with me. I've got Tony Sims, you alright Tony? Yeah, I like Coogan. Bit of a session in there today, got some names in there, haven't you? Yeah, some names in the gym. Uh, just see Joshua training uh, for his debut October the 5th. Uh, I'm really pleased with him, he's doing really well. All right, I just uh, want to start with um, Martin Ward. Um, he's got a fight coming up this later on in the year, obviously, so 6 and 0 so far. Um, yeah. You've been pleased with the progress he's made? Yeah, he's on uh, October the 5th, he's on that O2 bill, and uh, yeah, I'm pleased with Martin. He's uh, he's coming along slowly but surely. Um, I'm really pleased with his progress, as you say, 6 and 0 now. The last two fights he's won by stoppage, um, so he's getting a little bit of power into his shots now. And I think we'll move him up opponent-wise in his next fight. Hmm. Um, also catching up with Lee Purdy earlier, obviously, you know, from a slightly disappointing American trip in the end, mm. I suppose, uh, from everyone's point of view, including yours and his. So, mm. just wanted to get him back in the mix now, Tony. Yeah, I mean, it was disappointing, obviously, the performance, but we knew why it was disappointing. At four weeks' notice to take a world title fight, it just ain't enough time to get ready for it. But where he's young, um, I think he's, he learned a bit of experience. You know, it was the first time he's boxed abroad. You know, he was in a world-class opponent in Devon Alexander. And uh, I think he learned loads out of that fight. He never got hurt in a fight, you know. And, uh, you know, he got a nice few quid. So, uh, you know, it's onwards and upwards with Lee. He's, obviously, he's got to uh, take care of his weight. And, and I think he will now. I think he's learned from that. You know, he's under the dietitian Michael Jones out of Harley Street and uh, I think now you'll see a better Lee Purdy in his next fight. He's on the uh, Frotch and uh, Groves undercard on November the 23rd and I think you'll see him back down to welterweight and, uh, and fighting fit as well. There was some talk about Lee maybe moving up to 154, is that an option for you? There was obviously talk of it because the reason being where he ain't made the weight for the last two fights, but that's circumstances why he ain't made the weight, you know. The, the, the last fight was four weeks notice and he struggled, you know, he, he ballooned up in between the fight. And the fight before, he'd done exactly the same thing, he ballooned up before he started training again, you know. But this time, I'm, I'm giving him a long camp this time. I said to Eddie, I didn't want him to fight until the end of the year. And, uh, and that's what we've done, you know, and he's been training in the last few weeks and he's got a long, long camp till this fight. And then once he's made the weight nice and comfortable and he's strong and fit that weight, you know, week off, not all that ballooning up in between fights, week off, bang, straight back in the gym, getting ready for his next one. And that's how he's going to be now. And he knows that. He wants it to be like that. And, uh, and that's the way he's going to go forward. Um, John Ryder, obviously preparing for September 21st which is not that too long away, I think it's about six weeks away, five, yeah. six weeks away. So um, everything all right, looking all right with John for his British title fight? Yeah, everything's going well with John, you know, he just started his sparring today. And, uh, you know, John's really looking forward to the fight. I think everyone's looking forward to that fight. You know, uh, Billy Joe Song is a really, really good fighter, you know, Olympian, you know, he's a good boxer. But then you've got the blend of styles, you've got John Ryder, who's a come forward fire, he can whack, you know, and you, and you know, he's gonna take it, take Billy, take it to Billy Joe, he's gonna take the fight to him, you know, and you, it's up to Billy Joe to box him, you know, and keep away from him, it's just gonna be a great fight. I, you know, I think it's a 50-50 fight. I don't care what other people are saying in the boxing news or whatever people are saying that Billy Joe's in every favour. This is a 50-50 fight, and the reason it is because how hard John Ryder punches, and he can take you out with either hand, and if he catches Billy Joe, it could all be over. You know, and, that, and, that, and that's the exciting thing about this fight. You know, and that's why a lot of people are talking about it, and a lot of people are gonna go and watch it. And obviously, Darren Barco next Saturday, um, yeah. Massive fight for Darren uh, against Daniel Gill. You're going tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, or? that's right. Yeah, yeah, massive fight. You know, he's, he's only just he's only just flown out there, uh, which he's uh, just flown out to acclimatise, and I'll be going tomorrow. Uh, yeah, massive fight for him. Um, but I think he's ready for this fight. He's um, he's been waiting for this sort of fight his whole career. You know. And it's a defining fight for him, you know, to be a world champion at, you know, at his age now, 
you know, he's worked all this way to get there. He's had a lot of ups and downs in his career. And I don't think anybody in the country, you know, boxing fan or people involved in boxing would deny Darren Barker the right to be a world champion, you know. I think everyone will be backing him, even his rivals over here will want him to win. Because, you know, he's a gentleman, you know, and, and, he, and he's tried so hard to achieve this, to be a world champion. I think he's going to do it, I really do. So Tony, obviously you've got Anthony Joshua training down here, um, which must give the gym a massive buzz in itself to have Olympic gold medalists coming down here and under your guidance now. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, you know, I'm really pleased with him. You know, he's been down here with the last couple of weeks with me. Um, you know, uh, Matchroom employed me to uh, work with Anthony Joshua. And, uh, you know, we've had a couple of weeks together now and he's really fitted in at the gym well. All the, all the guys get on really well with him, you know, and I'm really pleased the way he's coming on, you know. He's a future star, uh, Olympic gold medalist, you know, he's got a great boxing brain on him, and he's only 23 years old, you know, so he's got he's got plenty of time on his side. All right, well, listen, Tony, listen, thank you very much for talking to us. I know you've uh, you've got to get on, got a busy yeah. day ahead of you, yeah. so, um, listen, good luck with all your fighters, good luck with Darren next week, yeah, you know, the whole Britain will be rooting for him to... Yeah bring that IBF title back on. Lovely, thanks very much Coogan. Coogan Cassis with Tony Sims here, thank you very much. Right.